about silence and comfort in the stand. Problem number two. Forgot to put my pull-up rope on my stand from my bow. So I had to tie it to my bag and uh, pretty much rip it up the tree. <laughs> Problem number three. Forgot a bow hanger, which not a huge deal. It is what it is. Ain't the first time I've done that. But number four, well, we had a blow job this morning. Just not the one we were looking for. <laughs> we did have a, we did have two, a one deer this morning, a big doe, come in right before light. Um, she came right underneath the stand and stood in the corner and ate for about two or three minutes. Um, after that, I heard some walking coming to my right. Uh, sure enough, it was the big doe we had on camera and uh, the two twins. She got up about five, ten yards underneath the stand here. She knew something wasn't right. Kept scent checking a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. She just wasn't sure. She couldn't figure it out. She paced around for the longest time over here in the thicket. And then eventually worked her way around to the right side of the corn. And at that time, I thought I heard something to my left, but I was so focused on these deer over here. I didn't even realize there was a big doe and uh, one fawn every year in the in the corn eating already. That's 15 yards, but the doe that was starting to work her way was a lot, uh, that was super nervous. She was a little more mature. I think she was about a year older, so I was going to take her. She actually came into the corn, but as you've seen in the video, um, it just wasn't a shot that I was willing to take. She was super nervous, and you know I think it was one of those those moments where you kind of just let them ease down and maybe relax and if not they move on and that's what she ended up doing so not a big deal but that's when I started kind of fiddling with the camera when all of them moved off there was five total they went to my left into a bedding area and uh, I stood up to mess with my camera it gets me every time I had a heart a stomp and a big deep blow coming from my right and then I heard a real little light blow, and they all, I mean, they busted out of there, so I think it was the, the real big doe and uh, little one that I've been having on camera, which kind of sucks. They, I don't have a lot of cover over here on my left-hand side where they're coming out of the thicket, and uh, I think she picked me off. She had to, but that's all right. I would say it was a very uh, eventful first morning set. We seen deer. I'll be honest with you, I shook like a leaf. <laughs> So it's a good feeling, guys. We're, uh, we're definitely blessed and thankful to be in the woods. So comment below, guys, if you guys are seeing anything on your opening morning set or your opening weekend in general. So good luck, everybody. Stay safe. And we're we'll getting ready for the evening night here just shortly after the white eight. Golly, it's going to be exciting, guys. Stay tuned.
exciting second day of the season, the 27th, here in Ohio. Yes. Awesome, guys. Whew. Hey, comment below if you guys are getting your done. And I'm telling you, this excitement on my face says it all. So, thanks for watching, guys. We got, uh, we got a lot more coming this season. So, good stuff, good start. Guys, well, just got back, just got out of the stand. First, though, how the brand new XOP tree stand. Awesome, worked out perfect. We'll show you real quick. We'll get you, a, we'll show you the arrow real quick. We just got down here, like I said, complete pass through. I heard her crash, so she's down. But let me show you the blood real quick. She was standing right in here. And you can see immediately. Look at all the blood. And there's the arrow, guys. Using the Grim Reaper broadheads. Love them things, guys. But you can see we're following blood here. Right there on that leaf. Awesome. It's going right up through here. She cut right into the woods here. So we'll go ahead and follow it. And uh, we'll get back to you guys here soon. My buddy Sean is coming to help. And uh, we'll get her out of here. So stay tuned, guys. All right, guys. Well, we just got back. So we went ahead and got right into the woods here where she cut in. Got last blood and everything. We got plenty of blood, guys. Reviewed the footage. You'll see a little lower than I wanted, honestly. But tucked it right into that shoulder. She's quartering to me a little bit and got it done. Like I said before, I had to make it kind of quick. Because I only had two minutes on the SD car. I look over and bam. So I knew I had to get the shot off. So we're going to go ahead and track her here. I heard her crash. So I know she's not too far. But we'll go ahead and follow the blood trail here. And we'll see her at the end of the path. Got my buddy Sean behind the camera. He's the man, the myth, the legend. He's getting him a, a good deer this year for sure. So we'll be in that. And we're going to try to film a little bit. But come along, folks. We're going to get it. But you can see all the blood going in here. It's probably going to be the easiest blood trail of my life. Are out good. Yeah, we got good blood all the way up here. Busting through here. Yeah, looking ahead, guys. I mean, I'm seeing blood. Ten yards up the trail here. The deer just took off there. Must be her farm. We'll keep falling. Oh, and there's a rabbit. Hmm. I don't have my release, but... A little finger shoot this thing. Oh, they're not in season. I lied. Oh, nope, nope, nope. I lied. Sorry, yeah. folks. Bad Maybe idea. In November. Bad idea. Bad idea. All right. Pretty thick up in this mud. Shouldn't be too much further. But we got plenty of blood up here, man. Everywhere. down right up here guys I can see her from here she's right up here to the left right around the corner yes sir she, dude, she went I bet she went 30 35 yards piled up that's all she Going down right here. Beautiful. Yeah. You can see, folks, this is exactly why we get on them so quick early season. When we get up here, you can see all the flies already on the wound. I seen a ton of them when we were walking up on her. But it's early season like this, you want to recover your deer as quickly as you can, especially when you know you make a good shot. So. Oh, yeah. She's down. Big old dead. Of course, we're rocking the Crocs here. Don't worry about me. <laughs> uh, beautiful down there. I'd say she's three and a half. Big old head on her. Look at that. Big old head. Beautiful. Eat in the freezer. I love it. Damn, she's Man, it's exciting. I cannot believe that tonight, guys. It only, I think I hunted maybe 45 minutes or so. Came out to my left, you'll see in the footage. Came on me quick, got the GoPro on, we got the whole nine yards. <coughs> Mosquito <coughs> in the lungs. Good for you. Protein value there. But, anyways, beautiful doe. Like I said, I'd say she's about three years old or so. Really, really beautiful deer. Blessed. 
meat in the freezer, guys. <clears throat> That's what it's all about, getting out early. Today is the 27th, a high opening weekend. So awesome, so cool. But now it's my buddy Sean's turn. Get him on a big old deer. Got some great deer on camera, guys, so look forward to that later on. <clears throat> I'm already hot, I'm wore out. <laughs> Over five yards. We're ready to get the work uh, rocking and rolling here. We got a lot of work. So, we'll get our field dressed here, and uh, we're gonna get this deer out of the woods into the butcher because it's hot. So, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more videos to come. Like I always say, over and over again, never stop the hunt.